Hey guys, Guy Level here, and Twitch just announced that they were doing a streamer preview of their future channel page. So if you watch my video about all the announcement that they made at TwitchCon last year, I briefly mentioned that the channel page was going to get a revamp today. They just tweeted that uh, we can see it. We can see what it's going to look like and all the new features. So they attach the link that I'm going to put in the description. And from there, you can learn all the information in detail. But what we're going to see that is new is bio and social links, stream schedule and channel trailer. Okay, All of that is, is described on how to do it and all the requirements. But let's just skip to the good part. OK, so if you go to your channel, you're going to see this new banner and it's going to tell you all of this new information and you'll see that it changed it changed it's completely new now so i already went ahead and edited a couple of things we're gonna i'm gonna show you what i edited and then i'll show you how to edit it yourself so first off you're gonna have this huge banner here and uh, you'll be able to have your channel trailer right here and if you already have a video uploaded to your video producer you can just click here set up a channel trailer it will take you to your video producer and then you just have to choose one now here's the thing there are some requirements this is why this page is kind of important to read the trailer must be less than 60 seconds so if everything you have uploaded here is more than a minute uh, you're not going to be able to set it up as a channel trailer you might have to edit one and if you click here there will be an offline check out this just chatting stream from two months ago and it's basically going to offer a vod going to offer another vod and then we're back to the channel trailer. Okay, so if we scroll down, you'll see the profile picture, the name, the number of followers, and this is the home page. So here you have recent broadcasts, you see the recently streamed games, or just categories, and then the streamers that you suggest. Okay, so if we click on the next tab, it's gonna be the about. Here you will see that the bio that you used to have for mobile, that would only show on mobile, actually shows up on the website now. So profile picture, number of followers, about, your twitch name and then your bio shows up here right but you also have a bunch of links for your social media in that case i have my instagram my youtube my overlays that's my gumroad.com slash guy level and then my twitter keep in mind i'm going to show you all of that later on i'm going to show you how to add all of that okay uh and then your panels actually show up here the thing that's cool is that since you have a bio here, you may not need an about me panel anymore. You can just add your normal panels without the about me since this is the part that kind of forces you to write something about yourself. I do stream reviews and I'm tired of telling people that they should introduce themselves. Well, Twitch is basically forcing you to do it now. That's good. Okay, those are my normal channels plus the extension. Um, let's go to schedule. What does the schedule tab look like? So once you set up your schedule, it will tell you in bold here hey next stream is gonna be in that amount of time i only set up my one stream review here normally there's a little icon that will show up with the well with the categories icon in my case this is just chatting but, but for some reason it's not showing here uh, it should be showing for you something to keep in mind is that i tried that on my bots account and it did not work i did not have the new profile on my bots account maybe because it's not affiliated or maybe because i haven't streamed on that bots account for a while uh, anyways let's move on and then we have videos so that's the vods the highlights the clips and all videos and then if you click on chat basically it will bring you to the main channel where you'll be able to visualize the offline screen and kind of like the the old twitch but with the bio added plus the social media links. And as it said here, your profile image can take you home. So if you click here, it brings you back home. So here it's announcing that there's this new thing, customize your Twitch channel. So if I click on it, it's going to bring me to my customize page, basically custom. But you may not have this, especially if you're watching this in the future. What you have to do to join your channel settings is go to creator dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you're going to click on that little menu here. Go under preferences and click on channel this is the page where you set up all of that okay so scroll down the accent color you should know about it by now but that's fine your offline image is going to be that video player banner and then here you have channel trailer i haven't set it up yet because i need to upload a set channel trailer to my um, video producer on twitch but this is where you would basically choose the video it'll bring you to a list of all of your uploaded videos it will not allow you to upload directly to the channel trailer it has to be uploaded through your video producer and here you have social links so this is how i set it up 
Um, once you first come here, it's you're not going to have any links, obviously, and you will have this add button and all you would have to do is enter the text that you want to show. For example, in that case, I put Instagram and then here you would put the link and then click save. If you want to edit them, just come here, you know, type something and then click save. If you want to delete one, go here. One thing that does not seem to be possible to arrange right now is the order, because I remember like I didn't put it in this order originally, but for some reason it rearranged itself. Weird. Okay. And then stream schedule. Okay. So when you get here, you're going to have this option immediately. Okay. And all you have to do is add your stream. If you stream on, on a Monday at 12 PM, you just enter the time. You can just click on it. You can also type it. Then you click the duration. How long does the stream last for? And if you're not sure, there is an option for that. I'm not sure. Okay. And then you can click Monday, right? What do you do on Mondays? Let's say that you play Call of Duty. Select Call of Duty. Okay. And then stream title. Um, if you do viewer games on Monday, for example, viewer games, and then you click save, it will appear in the list here. So Monday, 12 PM, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's where you do viewer games. Obviously you will be able to change your title once the day actually arrives. And then earlier on, I put, uh, just chatting stream review on Friday at 8 PM to 11 PM. And that's what I demonstrated earlier on the profile page. Okay, and then if you scroll down, this is normal, usual stuff. Okay, so let's go back one last time just to see. And uh, let's click on schedule because that's what we modified right there. And on Monday, we should have... Did I forget to click save? I probably forgot to click save. <laughs> no, that's fine. Let's do that again. Let's put duration two hours. Might be a bug because this is just a test right now. It's not like by the time I'm recording this, this is not, this is not live. As they say, it's just a preview and it just won't show. Okay, so there's a little book. It should work for you. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. What else? If you want to change your profile picture, you can go to settings here. So you click on your profile, you go to settings, you have your profile picture, then your profile banner. And then if you scroll a little bit more, you will find your bio. So this is where you check your bio, basically twitch.tv by settings slash profile. This may be subject to changes in the future. And I believe that's all there is to it for now, at least if there are any changes in the meantime. And of course, when it goes live, I will make a tutorial, a clear tutorial, really showing you everything. Once everything is working fine and everyone has those profiles. But in the meantime, I got to go and find myself a channel trailer. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. If you're looking for dope overlays to make your Twitch channel look good, please go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of free overlays and the other ones are very, very cheap you can get everything from full overlay packs to transition packs camera overlay banner panels all of that good stuff right here and uh i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching stay home wash your hands make me proud get level out i got so many tears and i'm trying to hide you feel the vibe give comfortable be original and stay humble and if you stumble just plug in your bubble put some in your gloves and get ready to rumble